grateful um, that uh, in the absence of my wife and my son, but Pastor Mary, thank you for this and a great opportunity to stand before your flock. I am always nervous when I stand to proclaim the word, but I know you got my back. All right. All right, once I get the road and I'll settle down. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, get up here and try. All right. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Yes, sir. Um, I guess I better read the scripture. <laughs> Ephesians 6 chapter, verses 10 through 18. Finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take on to you the whole arm of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and hope, having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of, the, of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. All right. Amen. Amen. Father God, I come, your servant, your humble servant, Father, saying, first, thank you. Thank you that you saved the wretch like me, that I can help someone else along life's journey. I thank you, Father, that you have been bred into my life, and read into my life, and, and just thank you, Father, for using little old me. Bless this great church, bless this great pastor, Father. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable, and that someone after hearing this word, say, what must I do to be saved? Yes, amen. Amen. This prayer, I pray, amen? Amen. amen? amen. Amen. All right, I feel it. I'm coming down now. <laughs> Many books will inform you, but only obedience to the word of God will transform your life. Amen. I'm a witness because I always tell my testimony and I know everybody that hadn't well, I'm going to just say, I was lost. Mm -hmm. All right. But now I'm found. Amen. And I'm so truly thankful that the Lord said, I got a job for you to do. Yes. Just like he has a job for you to do. Yes. Because when we learn here in, in Sunday school, as the brother taught this morning, that when we come into the house, we are taught yes. what we're supposed to do, to go out into the world, into the hedges and the highways. Not just the preacher, not just the teacher, but you are truly his disciples as well. Amen? Amen. Amen. Our choir saying he has done great things. I can attest to that. Mm -hmm. He's healed the sick and he's opened the eyes of the blind. Mm -hmm. But there are some things that we tend to forget to do. And I'll get to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. How great is our God, the choir sang. If young folks, young man with the twist in your hair, hair on that, <laughs> you remind me of me. <laughs> you do good. That's all I'm going to say. Be, be on the lookout, man. You can see it this way. All right. All right. So if you and I believe what the Word of God says, that if once upon a time I was a little nappy head boy, <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, what happened? I know. Father, time and mother nature took its course, and I'm truly thankful that God has allowed me to be living here today. Amen. But finally, finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Mm. 
Be strong in the Lord. Now, how do you get strong in the Lord? Mm, by learning of him. Getting the word down on the inside. And being able to say, I know who I is. There's a song that I love to hear. He knows my name. That's relationship. But the question is, do we know who God truly is? Oh, we come to church. We say things. And the Lord says in his word, if you're not doing it, if you love me, you'll do what I say. Put on a whole armor. Not just a piece of it. I just, I'm going to just put on one sock and I'm going to go to work today. And they're going to send me back home. <laughs> I'm going to get in the car, but I'm not going to put any gas in it. I'm just saying, if you have to be prepared, and the Word of God will prepare you for this struggle called life. Amen. Amen. If you go out there naked, they will beat you up and run you back home. Right. If you love it. All right. That you may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. And the scripture tells me that... Uh, Satan, uh, Satan said that he was going to and fro, mm -hmm. yes. seeking whom he may divide. All oh, the ones that are slipping and sliding, the ones that don't know Christ, the ones who aren't trusting, believing, and putting in, 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 in using God's word the way it should. And I often tell people that you've heard it. He was just trying to get his life right. Mm -hmm. Haven't you heard that? The enemy saw that he was trying to get away from him. And that brother, that sister might have even tried to change their lives and was working toward that direction, but they took a half a step back in the wrong direction. And the enemy stole them. Mm -hmm. Okay. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wrestle means fight. Are you prepared in your fight? It's just not a talk thing. You got to be able to walk that thing. Because the enemy is on track. Okay. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. And when I came to the understanding of this scripture right here, and this is my focus, verse 2. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sorry, 12. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And I'm going to go back down all of it, but I'm going to come back. <laughs> but wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, that you may be able, this is 13, that you may be able to withstand the evil day and having all you have done is to stand. Mm -hmm. After you've done all that you can do in preparing yourself for this fight, stand and wait on your backup. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You got a backup, you know, right? Mm -hmm. His name is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He knows your ins and your outs. He knows your ups and your downs. Mm -hmm. He knows who he knows your name. Mm -hmm. And that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with the truth. Oh, baby, if you stand on the truth, the enemy ain't got a chance. Amen. But if you tell them those little white lies, those little slightly brown ones, and black ones, whatever you want to call them. But if you do not stand on truth, oh, it sometimes may hurt my feelings. But please tell me the truth. If you say you're my friend, you tell me that you're my brother, please tell me the truth. And I tell you what, everybody else will appreciate it. They might not be feeling it right then, but later on when they had time to think about it, after they lick their wounds, they'll feel a whole lot better. Amen? Amen. And having the breastplate of righteousness. Oh, we have righteousness gone. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about self-righteousness. So I go ahead and see. We think we got it all figured out. Yeah. Or am I just talking to myself? Self-righteousness is that you think that you got it all right and you always right and I'm always wrong. No. The righteousness that this scripture is speaking of is the righteousness of God. 
Lord. That's right. And that's another sermon. Amen. That's right. And we won't go too deep. With <laughs> all prayer, that your all your prayers should and supplication should be in the spirit. Amen. Asking God, what should you have me to do, Father? Watching thereunto with all perseverance. Oh boy, that's a hard word there. Persevere through the good times and the bad times, through the valleys, through the over the mountaintop. Yeah. Persevere means, <coughs> as my granny would say, give out, but don't give up. No, because he hears all of our prayer and amen. Mm -hmm. And supplication for all the saints. Don't forget about me. Because somebody prayed for me. Right. Now, going back to verse 13, and then I'm going to get out of you all's way. Because I feel my help coming now. Thank you, Lord. Amen. That in 13 it says, and 12, I'm sorry. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but not against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. If I, me, you, know that we are wrestling, that we are fighting, mm -hmm. we prepare ourselves for that battle. Mm -hmm. And this is what I want to go into. We prepare to cook, we prepare to go to work, and as I stated earlier, if you go to work with one sock on, they don't send you back home because you wouldn't read it. If you go into this battle that this scripture is talking about, you do not have on the whole armor of God. You can be taken out. We need all the soldiers. If my observations tell me that right now that the enemy is having too much fun right about now, and it is because his God, the church, his church is not doing what it's supposed to do. No, oh, I don't, don't, don't look at me like that. I'm the truth. If I'm standing on the truth, and God, if the Bible is true, it says right here that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It ain't about what hat she got on. It ain't about what she got on. It's not how cute she thinks she is, and it's not how handsome he thinks he is. Mm -hmm. It's all about what it's in right. one's heart. Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to digress just a little bit here. I was on a little rock hard party from 1989 to 99, and I slept and drank 24 hour shifts with people of different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And some of them didn't appreciate my black self. <laughs> That's the nicest I can put. <laughs> But I could appreciate them telling me where they stood. Because back in the day, in the 70s, there was a song talking about the backstabbers that smile in your face all the time, trying to take your place. Oh, y'all don't know oh, y'all remember that. <laughs> oh, boy. But when I learned on the Little Rock Fire Department, and I was in my mid upper 20s, and that's when I learned so much about people eating, sleeping, drinking 24-hour shifts mm -hmm. and running into burning buildings in dangerous situations yeah, yeah. that I really learned about people. Right. Get to know your brethren, not just the black folks. Get to know some white folks and some brown folks because we're all in this together. Yeah, right. Yeah. But flesh and blood, I found out on the fire department was that these people had my back just like the mother folks. Uh -huh. I learned that it was truly the spirit that dwells therein. And that's what we need to know. It's not that mm. he's black, he's white, mm. she this, she that, none of that. It's all about what spirit dwells therein. Who's operating in you? And that's what I want to ask you today, Metropolitan. Who is operating in you? Yes. Are you walking in truth? Yes. Are you walking in God's righteousness? Not your self-righteousness, but are you Come on. walking in what God says that you should be walking in? Oh, my mature brother here, yes, sir. young people, answer the call. Need some help. Okay. Pastor Mary can only do so much. 
Amen. He can't live it all by itself. Amen. We all in this together. Amen. Amen. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. That means the things that, just like we have a, uh, what's the, uh, help me. <laughs> um, the scripture that, uh, the book that we learned from. Catechism. Catechism. Just as we learn from the catechism, we are supposed to understand that there are principalities that have the exact opposite in their principles and their guidance. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and against rulers of darkness of this world and the spiritual wickedness in high places. Not just your friend Trump. Hmm. Oh, I had to go there. <laughs> because when that man was, I'm just saying, when that man was elected, I found this to be true, that God also showed Pharaoh who he was. Right. Pharaoh was the strongest, had the largest army in chariots of iron and uh -huh. when the Israelites made it through on that dry ground yeah. after the Lord had fell part of the Red Sea mm -hmm. and Pharaoh when hot pursuit mm -hmm. went out across that holy ground mm -hmm. and then the Lord allowed the Israelites to turn around and see their enemies decimated mm -hmm. yeah. The mm -hmm. same God that was operating then is mm -hmm. the same one. That's, that's right. Today. Amen. So I say, Amen. I say mm -hmm. that Trump has done something. Right. And I said it when he got elected, that he was going to wake us up. All right. Okay. All right. All right. He did that, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so it's not just Trump, but there are others. And there is in the police department in the fire department and those people who think differently than you. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Make yourself aware. All right. Read your Bible. Mm -hmm. Go to Sunday school mm -hmm. and Bible study. That's where I got my start, young man. That's where I got my start, young lady. And I guarantee you, if you just taste and see, yes, sir. That the Lord is good. Amen. I'm a witness. Amen. That he saved me. April 26, 1986. And I'll give my testimony now. Mm -hmm. I was at the bootleg house. Mm -hmm. Snorting cocaine. Mm -hmm. Smoking weed. Drinking Rima VSOP. That's cognac. Those who don't know. And chasing it with Heineken beer. And gambling. I was on the road to hell. Oh, but the touch from the Lord. And yeah. turn me around. Yeah. And I'm here today that I'm able to proclaim God's word. Come on. Hey. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm truly thankful. But God is not a respectable person. Right. He, if He did it for me, He'll do it for you. Amen. May God have a blessing to the hearers, but most importantly, the doers of His word. Amen. Amen. Amen.